Hi everyone. Um, happy Thursday. We're getting close to the weekend again already. I can't believe it. Um, let's go ahead and get started with our art history for this week, okay? So let's get started with our prayer that we're going to start saying every week now. So go ahead and fold your hands, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for allowing us to learn together. Thank you for the ability to create and make things that remind us of you. Amen. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started on our flashcards really quickly. And we're going to talk about our featured artists from last week and this week. Okay. And we got those new ones. So do you think you're ready? Think you're ready for those new words? All right. Let's go ahead and get started with the ones we know. Glue. Good job. Crayon. Good work. Paint. Perfect. Marker. Good. Let's keep going. What do you think? Pa pastels. And this is where we put all of our artwork. A port folio. A portfolio. We did talk about portraits last week, so that can be a little bit tricky. Okay. That one is also called a statue, but it's called a sculpture. We paint on these. Easels, good job. If you're one of the older kids, you might have called it a weasel because we joke about that. All right, chalk, good. Kind of like Play-Doh. Clay, clay, good work. Pen and ink excellent okay what are you if you're painting are you an artist i think so i think you're all artists all right paintbrush good job pencil good work paint palette man you've got these words down don't you all right color wheel and we've got primary colors, secondary colors, and let's say it together, tertiary colors, tertiary. All right, and now we talked about these last week, so what's that one? We use them to make necklaces, beads, and what about these? We use these to cut up and use them for art. Mom and dad have them. Magazines. And then we've got fabric, but fabric has a special word when we talk about it in terms of art, and it is textiles, textiles. And then our last one, this one we learned about last week because our artist of the week used it. It's spray paint. All right, now, does anybody remember the name of the artist that we talked about last week? It is French in pronunciation. Jean-Michel Basquiat. Can you say Basquiat? Basquiat, good. We've had a lot of really long names recently with our artists, right? Let's kind of go back and think about the ones we've worked on before. So. We had our artist who played the piano or painted like raindrops, right? And his name was Claude Monet. Good work. And then after that we had, his name is the French word for Henry, Henri Matisse. Good, good. Then after that, we had an artist with crazy hair, and his name was Andy Warhol. And remember, he painted famous people and 
soup cans and bananas, really unusual objects are what he painted. Um, and then after that, we talked about someone who focused on kind of comic book drawings and we used, we used pencil erasers. His last name was really long. Roy Lichtenstein, Lichtenstein, good job. And now we're on Jean-Michel Basquiat, okay? All right, so today we're gonna do a project together, okay? So, and you can take as much time after the video to continue to work on this as you want, all right? But I thought, hmm, Jean-Michel Basquiat uses crowns a lot in his artwork, right? He does. Well, who do we know that's kind of royal, do you think? He's in charge of everything. Hmm. We've been learning a lot about him recently because it was Easter. Is it Jesus? Jesus, yeah, and he had to wear a crown, right? He wore a crown of thorns. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a picture that focuses on Jesus, okay? So I want you to take whatever you wanna work in. So you can work with paint or crayons or markers or pencils or whatever you got that you wanna use to work on this art project. You're gonna get those, okay? I'm gonna use a colored pencil really quickly and I'm just gonna rough sketch across okay we learned about the cross jesus was on the cross he died and he came back to life and so we are going to draw a cross first and foremost and miss bridget really likes to sketch things beforehand so i like to use light colors and kind of really loosely draw things and kind of go over it a couple times. So you see we got a cross there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw a crown up near the top of the cross, okay? And this is kind of an easy thing for us to use or to draw a little crown, right? That's an easy image. And I'll show you mine in just a second. And because it's Jean-Michel and he used spray paint and he worked on different kind of mediums. A medium is like what you're working within and what you're working on. So he didn't really work on paper, did he? He, he worked more with bricks and walls because he did graffiti art, so he did outside art. So you see here, we got a, cro or a little crown right there. That's the shape we want to try to mimic. And you see, I'm going to just put it at the top, at the top of this cross. And since Jean-Michel had like lots of different, like kind of striking lines, right? His art was all in spray paint, but he used so many different colors and so many different techniques that it kind of looked like he was using different things. So um, a good way to copy this would be doing chalk, you know, outside, and then you can kind of blend it together. Or you can do what we call mixed media, where we use more than one tool. So you see I got crayon up here, and now I've got marker down here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in, and I'll use a colored pencil, I'll use something else. I'm gonna add in a little heart in the middle of the cross. Why do you think I did that? Who loves us? Jesus. Good. So I'm gonna go ahead and color that in. Okay, so we've got a little heart in the middle there. And you can, you can do the same thing. If you decide you wanna decorate your cross completely differently, that is okay. And I want you to kind of try to think of things that remind you of, of God and Jesus. So um, crowns work really well, hearts work really well, maybe rainbows, right? Because God gave us the promise um, after the flood with the ark. Do you remember that story where he left us a rainbow to say he was never gonna flood the earth again? So there are a lot of different images that you could think of. Um, that would maybe remind you of God. So maybe like a bird, like a dove, that would be a good a good thing to think of. So you think about that for a couple minutes, kind of try to put something together. Um, and then I think what you can do is kind of go ahead and 
add in, I don't know, some patterns maybe onto your cross and, and color those in different colors. And I'll show you what I'm working on in just a second here. Okay, see what I mean? We got a little pattern here. So maybe we do a pattern there, and maybe we do a different one and different colors on the other side, huh? You can kind of mix it all up. So there we go. Got two different kinds of patterns in there. Okay, so patterns can be zigzag, they can be polka dotted, they could be striped, they could be crisscrossed if you wanted to do that. Let's do a little crisscross one so you can see that. And since Basquiat's work was so loose, right, because painting with spray paint is really hard. It is a really hard thing to do. You have to be really good at it and really precise because when you hit the button on the spray can, it goes like this, whoosh, out. So that can make it kind of hard then to make sure you're painting what you want to paint. Um, so go ahead and keep everything really loose in this, okay? If you make a mistake, what do we say? an opportunity to make something beautiful right so see there we go we got three different colors and we got them kind of crisscross there so you go ahead and keep working on yours okay and I want you to work with patterns and work with different materials um, but ultimately as always the choice is up to you with how this should turn out okay and I would love to see some pictures of your artwork when you guys are done so I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Enjoy your weekend, and I will see you on Monday with a live story time at 3 o'clock on our Precious Lambs Facebook page. Bye, guys.